Broadcasting from the fabulous Stardust Lanes in Minneapolis, Minnesota, Comedy Central Sports presents Let's Bowl. Tonight, two fierce competitors bring their bitter dispute to our lanes. Melanie Knudsen says she's not an exhibitionist, she's just lazy. Her roommate, Stephanie Hemis, says, put some clothes on, especially around my boyfriend. It all ends right here, right now, on America's favorite indoor bowling show. We have a great show for you tonight. What we have are two roommates. Oh, yeah. Stephanie uh, will decide on, uh, Melanie and Stephanie are going to decide right here on our lanes tonight whether Melanie has to cover up. Hey, before we leave tonight's contestants, let's say hello to the supporting cast of Let's Bowl. Right. He plays that big giant organ right over there. Uh -huh. His name is Ernie Jensen. <laughs> ride, Captain Ride, upon your mystery ship. Hello, everybody. And with me today on the Mega Jam is a Minneapolis legend, direct from Nye's Polka Bar in Northeast Minneapolis. It's Ruth Adams and the world's most dangerous polka band. I love those guys. They're, they're going to polka you to paradise. And you know them, you love them. Say hi to our lovely queen pins, Amanda and Lisa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what, Chopper? I'd like to hire them as babysitters and dress up like a big man baby in a diaper. <laughs> All right. And then they have to also take care with of us me. today, special guests from the Minnesota State Fair, where his family's been serving up corn dogs for 50 years. Say hi to Greg Carnes. Every time a bowler gets a strike tonight, they're going to be handing out pronto pups mm. to everybody in the audience, yep. and even you too, Wally. Oh. <laughs> and time now to meet our first competitor tonight. She comes to us from Minneapolis, Minnesota. She's uh -huh. a nursing student. Right. She has a bowling average of 105. Fairly mm -hmm. respectable. Oh, Let's yeah. make her feel welcome. It's Stephanie Hemis. Come on out, Stephanie. So, uh, Stephanie, you say your roommate flits around in her bra and panties, and this is kind of annoying. Yeah, she's a flying exhibitionist, and she needs to cover up in front of my boyfriend. <laughs> All right, Wally. Bowler number two comes from Orono, Minnesota. She went to Catholic school, <laughs> an average of 120. Let's welcome Melody Knudsen. <laughs> hey, Melanie. Hey. So, Melanie, you know, what's going on here? Are you some kind of temptress, siren, harpy woman, or what? No, I just feel more comfortable in my underwear. Yeah? yeah. Are you wearing underwear right now? Yes. <laughs> Good, so am I, I think. <laughs> anyway, if you win, what do you get? I get to walk around in my underwear all I want. Oh, that's good. I love a good cat fight, Chopper. <laughs> yes, indeed, Wally. But they're not just bowling to decide if Melanie continues to tease Stephanie's boyfriend. Are they, Ernie? What are they going to win? One of them will win the Spirit Mountain Ski Trip Package. That's right, the Fun in the Sun Snow Package. One day skiing at Spirit Mountain's Downhill Runs, three days cross-country skiing at Snowflake Nordic Center, admission for two at the Great Lakes Aquarium, and two nights in a Whirlpool Suite at Fitker's Inn and Brewery Complex. Then, the lucky winner goes on to play our league bowler for a chance to win a 1966 Ford F-250 pickup truck. <laughs> Drive in style in this mechanically sound camper special edition of an American classic, outfitted with two new tires and a beefy 360 V8 engine. This eye-catching baby is slathered in stylish chrome. Good luck, bowlers. <laughs> Man, it's, a great, it's a great trip. It's a great price tonight. Man, there's a yeah. lot at stake here tonight. Hey, I want to remind chrome, everyone, too. all that chrome. There's a lot of chrome. I look good in a lot of chrome. Well, don't forget, either of our bowlers can choose to use chum. the distraction option at any time during tonight's match. What they, they can only do it once. Now, whenever a contestant feels the time is right, they will wave uh -huh. the flag, and that will all force right. their opponent to bowl with the opposite hand. So a right-handed bowler would have to bowl with their left hand, and, of course, that would probably screw up the shot. What if you're ambidextrous? Well, then you win. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie starts off <laughs> because the person who has eaten the most shrimp the year before bowls first here on Let's Bowl, and Melanie has eaten no shrimp. So let's get Stephanie up and uh, see what happens. There's nothing worse than a big foul piece of shrimp with a big poop vein in it. <laughs> oh, doesn't knock down any pins this time. And uh, Stephanie, by the way, works at an HMO. Man, I wish I had health insurance. Stephanie's also a nursing student. I've been blacking out a lot lately. I could use it. Come on, Stephanie. Let's see if she can pick up a spare here at least. I think she will, Chopper. Looking good. Hey, oh. leaves a split back there. Knocks down <laughs> seven pins in her first time up. 
Boy, this is going to be an interesting match, Wally. It's sort of an interesting dispute all in all. I know we, we talked with these young ladies earlier. Yeah, I used to have a similar problem. My roommate got pissed off at me for walking around the house in assless pants. <laughs> Here's Melanie's first attempt. She knocks down seven in her first shot. Pretty good first shot out of the shoot there, Chopper. Sure it is. Uh, leaving a little bucket there on the right side. She's a powerhouse, Chopper. She is a powerhouse. A sexy powerhouse. She's got good form, too. Oh, and she only takes down one. So we have an open frame in both counts and uh, just one pin uh, dividing these two young ladies. Let's get Stephanie up for her next opportunity. There's a time and a place to walk around in your underwear. Just like there's a time and place to smear animal dung on yourself and run around screaming. She's excited about the shot. Take a look at the replay. Oh, all right, there it goes. And the six knocks it down. There's your reaction. Yes, she is one excited girl right now. And uh, here we go with Melanie. You know, there's a, probably a completely innocent explanation as to why she's doing this, parading around naked. Why is that? She's probably taking, uh, I don't know, prostitute classes or something like that at the U. Melanie says her friends describe her worst quality as having bad taste in men. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Welcome to Wally World. I'll be seeing you later. Take a look. Oh, oh leaves one <laughs> pin standing, so we have a strike up for Stephanie and seven, and we have 17 for Melanie, and that takes us a little deeper into this dispute, Wally. Yeah, that's right, Chopper. We took a deeper look into this whole exhibitionist weird thing in my camper. What is the dispute today? My roommate walks around in her underwear. Do you want to walk around here in your underwear? Maybe. <laughs> I think it's a little cold. It's kind of cold, isn't it? Yeah. When my boyfriend's over, I don't want him looking at her in her underwear. You know, he's supposed to be looking at me. Her boyfriend is over a lot, and I do it in front of him, and I just don't care. Does yeah. he look at you when you're walking around? Mm -hmm. Just because yeah. I look better in my underwear. You yeah. Know? What kind of underwear? She's got little monkeys with hula skirts on. You'd look good in monkey underwear. I don't want to invite people over. It's kind of embarrassing. Have you watched your roommate in her underwear? And tell me about it slowly. She doesn't wear underwear. Ever? No. Yeah? She doesn't. Hey, Dwayne. This is Dwayne. He walks around in his underwear, too. Sorry about that. Do all of her friends recognize her with her clothes off? I'm sure everybody's experienced Melanie's nakedness at one point or another. You, you let the tanks run out again. He was supposed to fill the propane tanks, but he let it run out again. Don't sit on my bed. I'm sick of you sitting on my bed, Dwayne. Tired of your sweat rings on my bed. I'm trying to live like a decent human being in here, trying to have some dignity. I think she's a bit of an exhibitionist, but I think most of it's just being totally lazy. I made a good dinner last night, and you ruined it. You crucified it. Well, who's going to win today? Me? Of course. I'm going to kick her ass. Hey, uh, that was a pretty interesting, Wally. Yeah, <laughs> my... Damn roommate Dwayne messed it up again. He always screws everything up for me. Yeah, I know. Hey, just to remind you, too, that there is a strike up for Stephanie, and uh, Melanie has 17, and we will continue uh, with much more bowling and inside bowling. Oh, Coming that's up right. right away. I'm, Don't uh, go away. Exactly right. More girl-on-girl -girl action on Let's Ball with the world's most dangerous polka band. Gotta love that. All right, making props. You know Prano Pups were invented in Minnesota, Wally. You're kidding. Nope. Man, they rock. Oh, they are indeed. Welcome back, everybody, uh, to Let's Bowl from Stardust Lanes in South Minneapolis. Our dispute tonight is a really cool one. We have Stephanie Hemis and Melanie Knutson, their roommates. Now, Stephanie says, put some clothes on. Melanie says, hey, relax. And while we were away, the bowling continued. Melanie had strikes in the third and fourth. Both contestants dropped nine pins in the fifth. And the score at this moment is Stephanie 52, Melanie 72. Oh, also in the fifth, Wally shaved his wrists and knuckles. All right, let's get up for frame number six. Hey, Wally, look at that. <laughs> it's the polka pin. When the polka pin appears, one of our bowlers has a chance to win a special prize if they get a strike. What do they win, Ernie? They'll win the big worst package. Yes, from Kramarchik's Deli in Northeast Minneapolis, you'll enjoy 60 pounds of homemade bratwurst, bockwurst, knockwurst, and sinkinwurst sausage. Worst is the best. We've we got, got stuff you've never heard of. You never saw such sausage. Okay, 
All right, let's get Stephanie up for the uh, polka pin right now. All that meat. That one was part of the furniture today. Oh, man. Knocked out nine and uh, missed out on all of the meat. <laughs> Bowling is a metaphor for knocking something down with something bigger. <laughs> oh, leaves an open frame as well. Boy, oh, boy. She's had three uh. open frames in a row. You know what we call that, don't you, Wally? A uh, turkey? A buzzard. A buzzard. That's right, Chopper. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And Stephanie has uh, enacted the distraction option. Now, Melanie must bowl with her left hand. Mm. You know, that hair that Melanie has, they look like uh, dresser drawer knobs. Not looking good. Oh, oh, that was good strategy on her part. And uh, got the big gutter ball, so see if she can pick up a spare here. Chopper, she bowls with neither skill nor grace. I'll tell you what, that brings us to Inside Bowling, Wally. Let's bowl, let's bowl. Contestant, contestant, scraping, scraping, crossing, crossing. I bet you're excited about being a contestant, Warren. Now, did you bring your urine sample? Great, great. Uh, now, Ernie Jansen's gonna come and show you around. Uh, Ernie, Warren's here. Hi there, Warren. Ernie Jansen, great to meet you. Let's get you registered. Now, did you turn in your urine? Oh, you sure did. <laughs> Good thing there's a lot of it, too. Our testing process really burns through the pee. First thing we need to do is set you up with a little one-on-one -on -one with Wally. Won't take long. Come on, this way. <gasps> I saw him here earlier this morning. Tommy. Tommy? You watch that thing around the pee, huh? I'm the number one troubleshooter. <laughs> this way. Go on in, I'm gonna grab a fax. What the hell do you want? I think he's having problems with the printer. Let's go, let's go this way. Go away! This is the casting department. They want to talk to you about your dispute. I think it's a good dispute. I just, I, oh, hello, Warren. Hey. Hi, Warren. You Warren. Warren. Um, we're just talking about your dispute here, and you said that you had slashed your tires at... You guys, the bunny's back. Bunny. Bunny. No, it's not. The one yesterday had tiny speckles. This one right now. Let's go take care of some paperwork, huh? You're scared the bunny! Just stop it! Oh, here's Chopper with another contestant. Hey, Chopper, this is Warren. Oh, hey, Warren, how are you? Hey, I guess I'm gonna wrestle you later, all right? Keep your strength up, buddy. All right, Missy, come on. You had enough? Yeah! Oh, Wally, I've got Warren out here. He's a contestant on the upcoming show. Tell you what, why don't we check back with him later? I think he needs a cup of tea. You know, my brother. Warren, this is Bill Thompson. Bill's our pep coach. He's gonna give you some helpful tips on how to be peppy when you're on the air. Bill, this is Warren. I know this cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll check back in a minute. Okay, see you then. All right, listen, you little pissant. I read your application. I don't like you, and I don't like your dispute. I've seen hundreds of little it's like you come through this place like you got the world by the balls. Well, I wouldn't piss on you if you're on fire, you got that? So you go ahead and you be peppy. You be real peppy. Go ahead and be super peppy, a peppy piece of shit. I don't care what you do. Hey. All right, ready to move on? Where'd you get this guy? He's cracking me up. Oh, that's our Warren. Good luck. Warren, thanks again for stopping by. As you can tell, we're all really excited hey, to get Ernie, started. who's this? Oh, Wally, this is Warren. He's a future contestant on the show. Hi, Warren, nice to meet you. Great to have you on board. <laughs> and we'll be sure and contact you between now and the shoot date to see if there are any last minute details you need us to Hi, clarify Warren. for. Hi, Warren. Hi, Warren. Have a great one. Thanks again for stopping by. Hey, Warren. <laughs> I'm the number one troubleshooter. <laughs> Oh, man, that must have been a Wednesday. I'm always kind of out of it after meat raffle night. Well, after six frames in our game tonight, uh, Stephanie has 61 to Melanie's 72, and we will continue bowling and invite you to come right back. And more Prado Pups for the audience. Pass around that pup. We always with me, Whatever you do. Keeping the beat. 
Trapper, I, I've known you for 12 years and I've never been to your house. Really? These, these chrono pups are really good, Wally. I count it. It's 12. Mm hmm. I, I count it this morning. are really good, Wally. Trapper, I, I hey, count Hey, you know it. what? I, oh. We are back at Stardust Lanes Hi. in South Minneapolis and we have a great dispute underway. That's right. Uh, in fact, Melanie Knutson versus her roommate Stephanie Hemmes. Now, Stephanie is sick of Melanie walking around half naked in front of her boyfriend. It's just that simple. Just that simple, Chopper. Let's get Stephanie up for uh, frame number nine getting underway. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Distraction option. Uh, uh, all right. Well, why don't you do some commentating while I'm going to finish my pronto pup. Uh, there she goes. Oh, and it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, Gutter ball. Gutter ball. That's right. it. Uh, that was pretty good strategy on the part. Because, I mean, you know, Melanie's in the lead at this point. I can feel my toenails falling off. There's a couple loose ones in my sock. Left an open frame. 83 in the top of the ninth. Boy, this is it. I mean, this could be it. I mean, I'm, it's looking like Melanie's going to be walking around naked for years to come. This whole thing is really pissing me off, Chopper. Dave, the boyfriend. Come on down here, Dave. So you're the boyfriend, right? That's right. And you people are having all these troubles about the uh, about uh, Melanie walking around. Right? I can't sleep at night. You can't sleep at night. <laughs> is this a problem for you? Uh, come on. Would you have a problem with it? You don't have any problems. You're fine. So go back and sit down. All right. Let's get Melanie up for frame number nine. <laughs> the bowling. Yeah. All right. <laughs> with the distraction option already behind her, let's see what she does in this frame. This could be all she wrote. Oh. <laughs> Well, leading to one, three, eight, and nine. No wonder Melanie's after someone else's man. She's only got a few good years left in her. <laughs> She's gonna age like an unpainted barn. Oh, oh nice conversion. <laughs> nice conversion, Melanie, with a spare up. Take a wow. look at the replay, knocking them all down. That is good bowling. Uh -huh. And now, <laughs> uh, going into the break, we have Stephanie at 83 and Melanie at 89 with a spare up. And when we return, we'll settle the dispute and we'll uh, certainly uh, get to the grand prize going up against the league bowling. That's right, Chopper. And we'll be right back with the exciting conclusion with that and lots more. Stay where you are, guys. Stay where you are. Ah, uh, look at the queen pins dance. That's some kind of queen pin polka dance, Chopper. I like it. How can you not like it? Hey, welcome back, everybody. Ah, welcome back. All right. Yeah, yeah, we've got a great game underway today. That's right. And we are entering the 10th frame. Uh -huh. Stephanie has 83. Melanie has a spare up in 89. It's still anybody's game. Anybody's and it all comes game. down to whether Melanie is going to stop walking around in her bra and panties in front of Stephanie's boyfriend. And let's go ahead and get things going with frame number 10. Uh -huh. Stephanie, it's your turn. Here are the uh, panties in question with the monkeys on them. They really do have animals on them, yeah, don't they? Look at that. They've got monkeys on the butt. They're kind of sexy, though, Wally. In a monkey underwear kind of way. Oh, oh, leaves eight standing. Boy, that's not good news for uh, Stephanie. Apropos of nothing, I think panty is the greatest word in the English language. <laughs> Gonna have a chance to pick up the spare here and maybe get one more shot. But this is a tough spare to convert. Oh, oh not enough spin on that one. That's uh -oh. it. It's over. Oh, no. Melanie has won tonight's match. So it looks like Melanie will continue to walk around naked you in sure her apartment. Will. Hey, come on up, hey, girls. Hey, come on up, girls. Yeah. Hey, congratulations, Melanie. You're the big winner tonight. How you feeling? Really, really good. Yes, well, you should. Steph, how are you feeling? Like crap. <laughs> like crap, huh? Well, now she gets to do what she's been doing, and she'll probably do it even more now. Well, it's, don't think of it so bad, hon. I mean, you know, my first wife used to hang around in her, in her underwear in front of my, my brother, my, uh, my roommate, my <laughs> sister's kids, the neighbors, the, F, the FedEx guy, the UPS guy, the Mormons. She wouldn't let the Mormons go that one time. But anyway, I guess, I guess you have something to say to each other now to resolve this whole thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you get to continue being an exhibitionist. Walk around in your cartoon underwear all the time. And I won, and that's that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stephanie, don't look so down. You don't go away a loser on Let's Bowl. You get a couple of great prizes. You'll walk out of here with a brand new bowling ball, a brand new pair of bowling shoes, a bowling shirt, and a bowling bag, all from Let's Bowl. You can get all that stuff from the pig somewhere. Go see the pig. Go see that damn... Hey, now, pig! 
What that means is Melanie will play against our league bowler for the uh -huh. grand prize. And here he is. He bowls out of St. Cloud State University. Please make him feel welcome. His name is Seth Vantoff. Come on out, Seth. So, uh, Seth, what's your average? 210. 210, huh? Is that good? That's good, right? It could be better. Could be better? Yeah, I bet it, I bet it could be better. You, what, do you drink too much at school so you don't focus on your bowling or what? I think that has something to do with it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, here's what's going to happen, Melanie. Good We're going to let Seth roll one ball. You need to match or beat his score. If you do, you will drive away on that 1966 Ford pickup truck tonight. We're going to let Seth bowl first. Say good luck, bowlers. Good luck, bowlers. He's one of our youngest league bowlers, Wally. He sure is, Chopper. The kids are bowling these days. Seven down. All right, Seth knocks seven of them down. That's not bad. Let's go, Melanie. It's she up can do to it. you. We've seen her do it before, Chopper. We have indeed. The crowd is with her. There's no question about it. We've seen her get all those strikes. You didn't win the truck, but you do have the trip to Spirit Mountain, and you That's get to right. walk around naked whenever you want. <laughs> and I want to thank everybody for being here today. I want to thank uh, Greg Carnes and the Prano Puff folks, and of course, Ruth Adams Ruth and the Adams. world's most dangerous polka band for being here as well. That's and right. And remember, please support your local bowling center, and be sure and join us again next week for another episode of Let's Bowl! Coming up, it's the off-the-cuff comedy of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Next, only on Comedy Central. Now, say, let's go bowling. See the ten shiny pins. Take your aim. What a frame. Here's where the fun begins.